What's up viewers and welcome to another episode of Cheers Reviews. I'm your host Jimmy and today we are talking about the Squire Classic Vibe 60s Jazz Bass. Late last year I ordered the last 60s Jazz Bass from the Classic Vibe series which was coming from the other side of Australia and unfortunately when it arrived it was damaged. So when I opened it up there was a sizable chunk taken out of the body so unfortunately I had to return it get a refund and wait until another one became available. So I'm really pleased to say that yes, the wait is finally over and I can't wait to dive in and see what it's all about. If you've been watching the channel, you would know how impressed I've been with the Classic Vibe series coming out of the Squire factory in Indonesia and the 60s jazz bass is no exception to that. As the name suggests, this bass pulls inspiration and styling cues from the 60s ancestors which is arguably the best era of Fender basses. Check with your local dealer for pricing, but this came in at 579 Aussie buckaroos, which is very good value considering the quality of bass that you're getting. There's a few different colors available. It comes in black, the Daphne blue, which we've got today, and it even comes in a fretless version available in a three-tone sunburst. Each come with an awesome red tortoiseshell pickguard, which really make the trio of colors pop. Personally, I really love the Daphne Blue. I think it's a really unusual color, especially in the Squire range, and it really caught my eye when I first saw it. And it really looks good up against the tinted glossy neck. Jumping into specs, we've got a poplar body, a solid maple neck with an Indian laurel fretboard and purloid inlays, vintage style tuners, and an era correct groove saddled bridge, two Fender designed, Al Nico jazz bass pickups which are controlled by a volume dial each with an overall tone. Similar to the Squire Classic Vibe 60s precision bass, one thing that they did leave out from the original styling is that you can adjust the truss rod from the headstock. So back in the day you could only adjust the truss rod from the heel of the neck which meant taking your neck off your bass. How annoying would that be? Anyway, I'm really keen to have a jam so without much further ado, let's see how it sounds. what you thought in the comments below. I love the slick but solid feel of the neck and I love the versatility between the two jazz bass pickups. I do love my precision basses but every time I pick up a jazz I'm always reminded how versatile these actually are. The only thing worth noting is that the fretboard is a little bit dry first out of the box but a coat of lemon oil will fix this right up. And by the way this has been common across any Fender or Squire product with a Power Ferro or Indian Laurel fretboard, they're just a little bit dry when you take them out of the box. Another thing I love about this bass is the weight. It is perfect. It's nice and light on my knee, nice and light strapped up against my body, and it's one of those basses that would be my shoulder's best friend, 
especially on those really long sets. It really feels like a feather in comparison to my Fender Standard Series Jazz Bass or the Squire Classic Vibe 70s Jazz Bass and I think that comes down to the poplar body. Another thing that I love about the Jazz Bass is that it's balanced so well on your knee because of that classic offset body. It means that you get nearly no neck dive whatsoever. Anyway, thank you so much for coming along to check out the Squire Classic Vibe 60s Jazz Bass. If you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. It's how I know that I'm doing a good job. And if you wanna see weekly bass related content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. But until next week, keep on rocking, and I'll see you next time.